Now, starting with a, a news alert coming in from Colombo, where protests have taken an ugly and violent turn. Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranul Wickremesinghe's house has been set on fire. Protesters seething with anger over the crisis hit country have torched the Prime Minister's house. And we know the crisis hit island nation of Sri Lanka is on the edge. Just hours after a curfew was lifted, thousands of protesters hit the streets of Colombo, the country witnessing one of the largest anti-government marches. Anger of the protesters has reached a crescendo during today, where Sri Lankan Prime Minister Rana Wickremesinghe's house has been set on fire. Now joining us live on this broadcast for more on this story is our correspondent Dasunia Tore coming to us from Colombo. Hello to you, Dasuni. Please will you take us through the latest that is going on? We have reports of Sri Lankan Prime Minister Rana Wickremesinghe's house being set on fire. Absolutely, Alison, uh, you are correct on that because the heat of the protest right now has uh, quite literally uh, transferred from the presidential secretariat and the president's. Uh... Hello? Hello? Hello, hi, yes, can you hear me? Yes, hi, can you hear me? Disney, we can hear you loud and clear. Sorry. How long more until I go on air? Disney, coming back to you, please take us through the latest on the reports that uh, we are getting of Sri Lankan Prime Minister Rana Wickremesinghe's house being set on fire by the protesters. Dasuni is still with you. We uh, are looking for the latest update from you on uh, the uh, Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranul Wickremesinghe's house. Uh, we are hearing reports that it has been set on fire. Will you take us through the latest? Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I don't know how long more until I go on We will uh, attempt to get Dasuni back on the line. We are with the crisis at island nation of Sri Lanka, which is on the edge. Just hours after the curfew was lifted in the country, thousands of protesters hit the streets of Colombo. Now, the country is witnessing one of the largest anti-government marches. Anger among the people has been rising for months, and today it has reached its peak. Angry protesters holding Sri Lankan flags broke into the presidential secretariat. There were thousands of them. The protesters first surrounded the secretariat. They then clashed with the police and forcibly made their way into the president's house. The Sri Lankan police fired tear gas and water cannons at protesters, attempting to block them, but failed to do so. And now a tense situation is being noticed near Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe's private residence in Colombo. 
The public has gathered in the vicinity of the Prime Minister's residence. They are calling for his resignation alongside the President's resignation. Now, there are thousands of demonstrators who came to Colombo, packed in buses, trains and trucks from across the country to express outrage over the government's failure to protect them from economic ruin. Pictures and videos from inside the Secretariat and outside are being widely circulated over social media. At least 21 people, including police personnel, have been injured in the clash between the police and the protesters, and some have been hospitalized following the ongoing protests. Once the frenzy demonstrators entered the president's house, they were seen running around in the corridors. Many of them barged into the bedrooms and were seen lying on the beds. Several of them also entered the kitchen. Now, they did not stop there. Hundreds were seen in and around the swimming pool in the premises, some even diving into the pool. Sources confirm that President Gotabaya Rajapaksa was removed from the official premises on Friday for his safety ahead of the planned rally over the weekend. Now, among several viral videos on social media, there is one from Colombo Port, which allegedly shows the president's luggage hurriedly being packed into a Sri Lankan Navy ship at the Colombo Port. <laughs> We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.